Right, I'm going to do a little video, a recap of what I've been doing on this machine. Um, I've had tons of issues trying to um, get Windows 10 to sh Windows 10 Pro to shell with Hyperspin. Um, I know a lot of people have issues also, um, and haven't. There's in a straightforward tutorial. Um, so I've used my own methods and other methods I found on the internet. Now I'm currently um, currently been using big blue front ends on YouTube. Um, comprehensive guide to hiding Windows 10 completely for arcade cabinets. Now everything else works. The blackening of the boot menus, everything else. Now the thing I had trouble running into is getting the hyperspin.exe file to actually boot up with Windows. Um, when it was unshelled um, from the explorer.exe to the hyperspin.exe it just wasn't finding the file location it wasn't booting up into it so I've, I've figured it out um, basically turn on the machine turn the radio off Nice GTX 1080 Ti, 10 terabyte hard drive, nice 7700K I think, and the ROG G Strix Z390, I get my motherboard, fully custom, everything's insecure, nice and neat, 4K monitor, right. As you can see, it's booted directly into the hyperspin. Um, if I escape, I've got it set to shut down. Um, but I'm not going to exit out. I'm actually going to close it down. Control or delete this. Right, if I jump into task manager and I run Explorer AXE it will boot hyperspin back up because I've got a bat file I created um, and that was my previous settings but if I go into the reg edit let's hyperspin again but I'll remove that shortcut because I no longer need that one. Close it down. Right. Now then, I'm not sure if it works. It's got to be in both or just this one. But I've set it in local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, Windows login. Now, um, if we go down to the shell, Right, there's also current use I've set it in just for the sake of setting it in there. Um, I wasn't sure which one was going to work, and I've just literally finished it now. Um, so, what I've done is I've created a bat file. Um, I have one on the desktop there as an example. If I edit that, I've got start D drive arcade slash hyperspin.exe. Now that bat file, running that bat file will load hyperspin up. Um, so what I've done, I've also got that bat file in arcade, D drive arcade um, folder as well. Um, if I click modify, I have it set to D drive arcade hyperspin dot bat, not the exe, but the bat file. Um, what I've found is it won't run an exe file from the startup for some reason and um, I noticed that's how I figured it out is because in the startup folder as well when you try and run hyperspin on startup with Windows you've got to create a bat file not run it direct from a shortcut or the exe you can do a shortcut of the bat file or you can do a bat file itself and drag that over 
Um, I did have another version of the bat file but it only worked when it was in the folder with the exe. This command file um, works anywhere on the machine. It will run start then that file where before I had start hyperspin.exe then the location but that didn't work because you've got to obviously direct it to the root folder in the file so basically that runs um, so if you use obviously big, big blue front end on YouTube's um, guide to blacken out the menus and stuff like that if you want to edit your own this, um, software online to be able to put your own boot menus and stuff like that um, but as it goes for shell and windows 10 i'm currently on windows 10 pro but i'll in a ways i'll not get all that information up um basically i'm on windows 10 pro i had massive issues like i say trying to get this to work trying to get it to boot direct into windows um into hyperspin um but now it works um as soon as i restart the machine um obviously the explorer.exe won't boot up anymore because I've got it to, to disable the explorer exe and it boots up direct into hyperspin It'll take a little while to shut down I just have the custom dust covers and grills to get done on this machine. Have all the custom amp installed and T molding on the edges. As you just see a flash of the bat file running and then hyper spin loads. The LED blinkies will start cycling through. With all the buttons on the sides. Got your escape button on the side, also works for pinball. Now I'll back this up, create a um, copy of the bat file, I'll possibly upload it um, and add a link to the bat file in case anyone wants to use it. Um, I'll quickly go go on to a game. Um, pinball FX3. Loading complete. Yes, so as pinball games go, you've got your side buttons. Back to Put the future. beautiful cabinet this really expensive I mean PC parts in it alone are more expensive than my home PC so use that as your launch button as you can see when you're in game the transition I created 750 um, frame transition will cycle through and then you've got your you must be extremely careful not to run into your other self you too related as you can see the buttons on the side work perfectly um, if I want to escape out of this I'll just press start go to the main menu Main menu. That's it. 10 terabyte hard drive, hyper spin system. All customized with LED blinky. And um, we'll have custom dust covers and custom grills. Maybe some Donkey Kong barrels or something. Um, 
and that's it hope I've helped you out um, for other people that have major issues with hyperspin right bye